This is the Hagia Sophia from the balcony on our hotel. Yes, that's right. Hello, everybody. I'm glad you're with me. This is Jay Stephen Roberts of River State's History. And this is some footage I took last time I was in Constantinople. Uh, this is my little stroll through the Hagia Sophia, the magnificent uh, church that was sort of at the epicenter of the Byzantine Empire throughout the Middle Ages. So uh, this is just me walking around with my camera and the footage I got, and I hope you enjoy it. So here we go. This is called Hagia Sophia. This one has two entries. This is the outside entry. And this is the inside entry. Outside entry, no picture, no image, no icon, nothing. Because outside entry for those, before you convert it, you can see this beautiful mosaic. Those mosaic with picture, image like this, they are three the right side, three or onwards. No picture, no image. So, of course, Hagia Sophia is filled with these magnificent mosaics from the Byzantine era. And you can see a lot of them in this footage. This is at the front of the church, kind of the, uh, the entry area, this immense hall that sort of brings you into the church. This marble is just absolutely amazing. Incredibly ancient. This footage does not do it justice. Unfortunately. Okay, so this is the interior of the church itself. There you can see the great dome. And you'll notice that at the top of it there is some Ottoman calligraphy from the uh, era after the Ottoman conquest. There it is again. The church is really kind of this mixed bag of you know stuff from the Byzantine era that's been restored because of course during the Ottoman era all the Byzantine art was covered up like right there. And that is an angel, a Byzantine angel. It's a mosaic. They put it there to protect the door so it doesn't collapse. The Virgin Mary there. But Islamic time, no face allowed. They close the face like this. They opened this one recently. Yeah. The Turkish guide is telling us about how they they covered all the faces of the Christian art during the Ottoman era. Okay, this is another one of these magnificent mosaics. Look at this. This footage does not do these mosaics justice. When you're standing in front of them, I mean, you can see these just, you know, thousands upon thousands of tiny, beautiful jewels and stones that made up these mosaics. And it's just incredible. And the thing about it too is they look, they have this brilliance and shimmer to them that it makes it hard to believe how old they are. So right here, this is an original Byzantine chandelier. This is a restored one. Windows on the second floor. More Ottoman frescoes. And you kind of get an idea of how this is laid out. I'm basically walking through this long corridor at the top. And there's a dome. The view from one of the upper arcades. This is the church. And then you look up here. You can see the windows, you can see the columns. There's another arcade opposite this one. Kind of like the one we're standing in now. And then you get the Islamic calligraphy. That's Ottoman with Arabic inscriptions. And then all that yellow stuff, all that little kind of floral designs, frescoes, these are also Ottoman. 
they require constant maintenance unlike the Byzantine mosaics. Let's see more Byzantine stuff around here. You've got these really broad arcades where you can walk the upper part of the part of the church, and that's of course the uh, Islamic minbar from the Ottoman era. And then right up here, you can see the roof to the sultans. Um, they see that sort of the uh, veranda or whatever where the sultan sits and hangs out during Friday prayers. You see it through that gate. Do what? Hey, tomorrow. You're playing FSCN pillars. Wait, where are the FSCN pillars? Right here, the green pillars. These? Okay, yeah, the green pillars are FSCN. Okay, right here you can see an angel. That's an original Byzantine mosaic. Take a look at it. You can see it's partially covered still. Christian mosaics. Second floor.
and then walking down the stairs. Down the stairs. And the medieval wheelchair ramp. Thanks for watching my new book, Why Does the Heathen Rage, a novel of the Crusades set during the reign of King Baldwin II of Jerusalem, is now available in paperback and Kindle on Amazon. Please click on the link in the about box of this video to get your copy. Also, if you would like to support Real Crusades history by offering a donation, you will find a PayPal donate link in the about box of this video. Thank you.